last saw proper footage of the trip. Uh, I don't want to be naming names or pointing the finger at anyone, trust me. But, um, there was a reason that we've not filmed anything until this point. There was a reason that we're back here. This is where we stopped for our first beer uh, on the trip. We came through this lot, a few more down that way. Um, had some of this good old hooky beer stuff. Had ourselves some munch, we're waiting on some more munch now, which is all good. And then we continued as well, you know. And then we did some locks. We cruised on for hours after that. Listening to Gracious Bear CTN, standing at the front of the boat, um, rapping, really loud, really drunk. And then we went to film something. Where's the camera? Who's got the camera? The camera wasn't there, was it? No. No, no. Cue with me and Daniel marching like motherfuckers. About four miles back in the direction we come from. Back Eight miles box. all in all. Eight miles total, yeah. Let's try and find the camera. The camera wasn't there. March back. We did press on, we did get to Birmingham though, which is the point. Pitch fucking black. And because it was pitch black, we were running doing more locks. Daniel in the flip wisdom. Runs in pitch black straight into a post. Devastates his knee. It was not the same for the rest of the trip. My legs were knackered after the walk in general. I did not recover till we got home. Got new shoes. Yeah, not to mention the vans. Cost out big time for a new pair of Adidas trainers. Mega bucks. Again, blaming Crusty for that. Got stuck in the mud on the march. Absolutely caked in fucking mud. Actually had to have a shower. Bad times, because the shower's not comfortable on a boat. But at least there was still beer and rum and all was well. And hope. And hope. Always had hope. No one was believe me. I was figuring we'd get the camera back as his proof. You're watching it now. Basically, went to pick up the car the day before yesterday, back from Northampton. And um, there was a little note in the door, but my dad picked it up, didn't fucking look at it, which said that someone had picked up the camera and put it in the office. Winner. Hence why we were back at Isabel before. Um, but yeah, we've come down two days later, picked up the camera, basically doing some closing shots. We're going to have our beer, we're going to have some lunch, and then we're going to uh, head down to Preston Brook, shift the boat over a little. I think we've got to do some tinkering on it or something. And then uh, we're going to call Krusty. Get his take on events. Hmm. Preston Brook. Home of boat. Boat's in the wrong place, apparently. Going to move boat. To somewhere. And this, ladies and gents, is the last bit of cruising you'll see on this trip. Literally, we're moving the boat from that position to that position over there where Daniel is. Isn't it jolly? Now, I don't really see much of a point in this, but apparently we have to do it. And then we're going to swap that rope for uh, this rope, because apparently they want the front longer than the one in the middle. Whatever is what I say to that. Ain't this some deep joy? Mm. What a stunningly glum vista. An unnecessarily wide boat. And Daniel. Well, we're going to click this side with some fucking force. <laughs> well, there it goes. I envision getting this boat back out of here 
to head up that way to get out is going to be um, a cunt. <laughs> Hello boys and girls. Hey guys. We're going to call Krusty now, now that we're on the boat. And so it's like, so here we go. What's going on? Why aren't you calling Krusty? Hello. Hello, Krusty. Hello. What did you do? Well, apparently, uh, yeah, I've not actually seen the proof yet. Apparently, the iPad that the camera got lost. Silly Krusty. What? Silly Krusty. Silly Krusty. Yeah, I don't remember it because we're all, I think I'm safe to say that we're all pretty drunk at that point. Yeah, it was a drunk day. What Still time no was excuse. that exactly? <laughs> but yeah, so we did manage to press on to Birmingham, didn't we? Yeah. We did, yeah. Well, uh, we Birmingham had... was, like, the outskirts of Birmingham wasn't too hard to look at, but the actual centre of Birmingham was really very pretty. It was, uh, was it? through in the evening on the boat doing some locks and then chilling out, having a couple of pints and a curry, which was delicious. Lovely uh, times. Good overnight in Birmingham, which is probably one of the best overnights all week, actually. Yeah. Uh. It was there were two different clubs playing Mark Morrison's Return of the Mac. <laughs> oh, yeah. You don't find one club playing Return of the Mac, let alone two. That's just chronic craziness. That is amazing. Do you know what I've just remembered? There's fucking rum left on this boat. Yeah, there is. Krusty, you're missing out, man. I know, sorry. I'm, men I'm mending a bike. You're the Men one that you fell off? Yeah, I'm fixing it. <laughs> Silly Krusty. <laughs> I've taken it apart all day today, like piece by piece, and I'm just like having a bit of a dad day, just like oiling stuff up and tinkering. It's been great. <laughs> How appropriate. Yeah. But yeah, so I suppose, with uh, me and Dan here and you on the phone, that pretty much concludes We Be Boating Volume 4. Absolutely, in its, in its weirdest sense. I don't think we could have predicted a weirder ending for it. No, <laughs> not at all. So, uh, yeah. I suppose that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you in the fifth edition. Peace. Hopefully yeah. we'll keep the camera. Yeah. yeah. Just don't give it to Krusty, we'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye everybody. Bye. Bye bye. bye. bye.